Hello again. Today, let's draw something simple again, but this time, we're sticking to vector mode. Let's try turning your profile picture into a cartoon. I'll guide you through the process, drawing lines, adding colors, and putting in small details, in a flat 2D style. Let's get started. I'll use this photo as a reference. Let's draw this girl. Tap and drag to your document. Then use the vector crop tool to crop only a part of the image. Otherwise, the video will get too long. First, add new vector layer. Lower the opacity. Okay, I'll start with the eyes. You can check out my video on pressure stroke lines for a detailed explanation. Adjust the style of the lines to see what works for you, the thickness and width of the strokes. For me, I usually draw while applying pressure to the strokes. The pressure you apply will carry over to the next tool you use, like the pen or pencil tool. Working in vector mode has its advantages, like being able to easily edit lines and colors. However, it might not feel as natural as drawing in raster mode. For this cartoon style, simple and clean lines usually work best. Don't overdo the details, it'll look better that way. I might tweak the design a little, adding or reducing details to fit my style. You should avoid drawing certain lines, such as under eye lines or nasolabial folds, smile lines, as they can make your character appear older. Unless they are absolutely necessary, it's better to leave them out. For emphasized areas or shadows, slightly thicker lines can help add depth and dimension to your work.
Okay. It looks good now. It's not exactly like the reference, but close enough for a guide. Now for coloring. Add a new vector layer and place it below the ink layer to use as a color layer. I'll use the pencil tool to add colors. Select Use Fill and enable Auto Close. After that, choose the same color and tap the same button, then tap fill color and add them all together as one piece. Usually, when coloring in raster mode, we draw lines to enclose an area before filling it, right? It's similar here, but with the pencil tool in vector mode, it simplifies the process a bit. Another method is to use the brush tool and paint directly, tap and drag as needed. Some people ask me if it's necessary to expand the strokes. The answer is no, you can just leave it as it is. However, it might get tricky when adding shadows, highlights, and other details later. I recommend expanding the strokes and combining them into one piece, it might take a bit more time, but it's worth it. Alternatively, you can color like normal. Draw a line around the area then use the Vector Flood Fill tool to tap on the line fill color directly without expanding the stroke. I'm not saying you have to follow my steps exactly. There are many ways to do this. You might even discover easier or better methods than mine. Layer order is also important. Decide what goes above or below. It'll make your work faster and more organized. For areas where colors might be missing or overflowing, you can use the knife tool to cut out unwanted parts. My preferred method is to use the pencil tool in sculpt mode to edit and refine the lines. It's easier than fixing it piece by piece. You might stick to flat 2D coloring, it's simple, and it depends on your design. I always say, it's up to you, and it's true. There are no limits in design. You can adapt and explore different methods as you go.
Alright, let's add some details. I'll start with the face and add a little shading. Select the face object, tap the three dots in the context toolbar at the top, and set the insert target to inside. Then draw the shadows and apply a Gaussian blur effect. Tap the FX button, select Gaussian Blur, and drag on the screen to adjust the intensity. Once you're happy, confirm it by tapping the X button or switching to another tool. You can also use the brush tool to add extra shading. Don't forget to refine the areas using the pencil tool in sculpt mode. As I've mentioned before, you can combine both modes, designer and pixel persona, in your workflow. At first, you might face some challenges, but if you keep practicing, I guarantee it'll get easier. Everyone eventually develops their own techniques.
Okay, that's it for this video. Simple and easy, you can do it too. I'll keep trying to bring you more great content like this. Maybe I'll explore text design or logos next time. If you have suggestions or want to learn something new, feel free to let me know. I'll give it a try. I hope to see you again. Thanks for watching.